So welcome to the dimensions of earthing electrodes. So the material configuration and minimum dimension of earthing electrodes as per IEC 62305-3 shall be as follows. Material copper tin plated copper and if the configuration is stranded then the earthing conductor size would be 50 square mm. If it is solid ground then the earth rod diameter would be 15 mm. Earth conductor is 50 square mm. If it is solid tape then the earth conductor size would be 50 square mm. If it is a pipe then the earth rod will be 20 mm in diameter. If it is HDG steel, then for solid ground configuration, the earth rod diameter would be 14 mm and the earth conductor would be 78 square mm. If the configuration is solid tip, then the earth conductor shall have a 90 square mm requirement of earth conductor. If it is a pipe configuration, then 25 mm would be the earth rod diameter requirement. If it is a copper coated steel, then for solid ground configuration, the earth rod diameter would be 14 mm and earth conductor would be 50 square mm. For solid tip configuration, it would be 90 square mm earth conductor dimension. Lightning protection for explosive atmosphere. So IC62305 basically defines the external lightning protection and internal lightning protection for the equipment or the structure. However, for explosive atmosphere, the design considerations for lightning protection shall be done either based on NFPA 780 requirements or it should be based on the requirements of YSD 180. So varying the requirement of all the details of petroleum storage facilities, floating roof, ta floating tank, floating tank, floating roof tank, fixed roof tank, all the details are clearly mentioned. However, some fundamental principles for lightning protection for explosive atmosphere extracts are taken from NFPA 780. A low impedance path to ground are preferred by lightning. Dedicated wire down conductors or building steel or both must be installed in accordance with NFPA 780. Section 4.9.9 High impedance paths must be avoided since they can create unwanted heat and or mechanical damage. Adjacent metal bodies for example must be bonded to the low impedance path so as to prevent side flash or the spark over this is a very important point. So in hazardous area basically for the sake of example I just wanted to say let us say we have a down conductor which is coming down supported through the metallic structure and uh, there is a petroleum storage or any chemical storage facility just adjacent to that which is a zone 1 area can be right with flammable gas in this atmosphere. Now whenever a lightning strikes in the air terminal which is situated on the roof of this particular structure the lightning current would try to uh, take the least resistive path that is it will flow through the down conductor directly to the earth electrode system. Now while flowing through this earth electrode system it will have an enormous amount of current and while it will be trying to go down through this down conductor it will try to ionize the atmosphere beside that down conductor. In lieu of that, it may happen that electrostatic discharge phenomena can happen where a side flashover or spark over can happen from the down conductor to the nearby area. And if the temperature will be definitely high, then a catastrophic, catastrophic 
सिचुएशन मे हैपन विच कैन लीड टू एन एक्सप्लोशन और फायर इन दैट पर्टिकुलर एरिया सो एन एफ पी एस सेक्शन बी टू पॉइंट टू सेवन एटी क्लियरली डिफाइंस दैट इन ऑर्डर टू यू नो एवॉइड दिस सर्ट ऑफ डेंजरस सर्कमस्टांसिस विच इज साइड फ्लैश और स्पार्क ओवर हाउ आर लो इंपिडेंट पार्क कैन बी क्रिएटेड विद इक्विपोटेंशियल बॉन्डिंग in order to avoid this sort of circumstances so that's why whenever we are designing lightning protection design for a explosive area which is built for explosivity for example a storage area or a peso tank farm or any particular area the only guidelines of 62305 will not suffice however the provisions of low impedance path equipotential bonding and guidelines mentioned in nfpa 780 and ysd 180 has to be taken in concurrence and accordingly the lightning protection design has to be done in cases wherever there is any query or concern regarding the design a lightning protection specialist must be consulted before the installation or post installation a adequacy audit needs to be done for the safety of the plant where down conductors are near metal bodies without bonding the two lightning tends to jump from one to the other tending to create a spark which is the electrostatic discharge phenomena which we were discussing just now so these are also clearly detailed out in section b.3.9 of nfpa 70 so more for more information regarding the lighting protection for explosive atmosphere nx b can be consulted of nfp 780 2020 edition which is the latest edition thank you for your patience and listening any questions please